What do you think? You know, how how uh, is this addressing our issues in terms of you know growing the economy, uh, getting the country where it needs to be? Because I don't think. Uh, the country has understood the the huge task we has as a nation. Forget about these political parties or anything. Uh, what is your take on it? The country is not the corporate or the Colombo people or the balance sheets of corporate. Country is 22 million people. We have to, when we come here, we have to think of the 22 million people. Sure. You know, for example, if you see the corporate, Will this year show one of the, some of the best results? Yes, exactly. You know, that doesn't mean the country is okay or not okay. I'm just saying that what has happened is we must we must admit our mistakes. First way of getting over a problem is to admit to our mistake. Since independence, we have lived beyond our means. You know, so. So it's not one government or two governments. Yeah, the democracy and elections have a huge price to pay. Where everybody is trying to outdo the other in promising something better. And that and means not they are way. not spending their personal money, they are spending public money. So in that situation, that must we that word reset is an important word. We have to reset. And one way which I would like to use this forum to pro propose is the political parties get together on economic fundamentals. You know, if they don't get together, this will never come right. Irrespective whether there's COVID or not. COVID or not. You yeah. know? And, and, and because uh, everybody is talking of their thing. But we... Me, see, me, 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 me. I, me, <laughs> myself. So, but if we think of the country's economic situation, now, this is something which is personal to me. I'm saying we have a big problem because we have the country economy. Mm. We also have the government economy. <laughs> now, country economy, if you ask any old level student, will tell you, you must be competitive. So that is devaluation is a good thing. Now, a very highly successful country like China, they are devaluing. They are control in the currency, they don't allow it to go up. But we, I heard a lot of economic people say, no, no, we must keep the rupee down. Why? Because it serves their purpose. Yes, yeah. Their purpose of uh, settling their debts or something. But if you don't devalue, that is the only help we can give the exporter.